Hi everyone, it's Yanis here. If you want to stand out from the crowd, you will have to do things differently than most of the people. When you do things differently, people will say that you are making excuses for not being part of the group. What are excuses? Well, there is not a straightforward answer to this question, as there are a bunch of different versions of what the excuse is. Here are some of the definitions that I came across. One, an explanation offered as a reason for being excused. Two, try to justify release someone from duty or requirement. Three, an excuse is a reason which you give in order to explain why something has been done or has not been done or in order to avoid doing something. And these are just few variations of excuse definition. This fact alone suggests that there are going to be confusion of this topic as it's not clearly defined. For me, the excuse is a reason for not doing something. So if one of my friends invited me to play football over the weekend and I said that I can't because I have plans with my wife, then the plan with my wife would be an excuse. Different perspectives. To break down and really understand excuses, we have to break them down and look at them from different perspectives. And of course, I'll use some examples to illustrate them. Let's say I'm overweight and a group of my buddies are figuring out where to eat lunch. Should I make an excuse if one of my friends is offering to go to McDonald's? Of course I have to. I would say, that's so far away guys and it's so hot today. Why don't we just have a meal somewhere closer? Or I can say, I have a meal at home guys, so let's split up now, I'll go home, you can go to McDonald's and then we can meet up after an hour. I don't just think that it's okay to make these kind of excuses, I personally think that it's a must do. The thing is that society has given excuses a bad name and therefore excuses are labeled as bad. But what about situations where excuse is the right thing to do? Is a kid that is making excuses to his friend about not trying a cigarette for the first time doing the wrong thing? I think it's perfectly fine and I also think that most of the other people would agree with me that the kid was doing the right thing and this excuse was good. So now we have come up with the conclusion that some of the excuses are good while others will remain bad. Of course, if you're working out and then one day you say to your training partner that you can't go to the gym because you're tired, then of course it's a bad excuse. There is another perspective that we have to consider. For different people, the same excuse will be different. Let's use a gym example as it is a good excuse and we will make it bad. If my wife is asking me, can we go to the movie on Thursday night? and I say no, because I have a gym session, then from my wife's perspective, going to the gym is a bad excuse, because her goal was not fulfilled. So in different situations, your supposedly good habits can turn into excuses. So you have to understand that what's good for the one person will not be good for another one. Are excuses helpful? Absolutely, I think excuses are good, and they can help people to achieve their goals quicker. The important thing is to make, of course, the right excuses. I have things in my life that I want to achieve and I'll make all the excuses I need to achieve them. Here are some of my best excuses and practices. You don't really have to make excuses if you don't make the wrong plans in the first place. People often find themselves in a position where they have to make excuses. If your friend asks you during the week, hey, let's do something on the weekend together, and you say, sure, let's do it, then when the weekend rolls over and you have changed your mind and you don't want to do anything, then you will have to make an excuse. Whereas if you didn't agree in the first place, you wouldn't have to come up with excuses later just because you changed your mind. I see this all the time when people commit to many things and then they're making a pile of excuses. This is of course happening based on our emotional state, when we are making decisions and committing to something in the future. When you're playing football on Wednesday, it is easy to say, hey, let's catch up over the weekend and play as well. But when the weekend arrives, it might be raining and there are thousands of other things that will demand your time and attention. Remember that it is always easier to fulfill the commitment that is in line with your goals. If you're going to party, We all have friends and sooner or later these friends will have a birthday or you'll just go to some kind of event together. And how can you have a party without alcohol? That would not be a party without beer, vodka, tequila, etc. You also probably know what happens if you don't say no to these substances. Exactly! 
you'll have a bad hangover in the next day and your productivity will be useless. If you want to get out of the usual situation when your friends want you to get drunk with them, we can use some good excuses and spend the night without getting drunk. It always starts with one drink, but of course it never ends there. If you can't say no to the first drink, you will not say no to the second one and the rest of them. So what do you do when someone is saying, come on, one drink is not going to change anything? To what you can answer, I took some medicine and I can't mix it with alcohol. Or you can say that you take some supplements that cannot be mixed with alcohol. Nobody can argue with that and this will get you out of the situation every time. Have a plan. Another great excuse not to do something is to have your own plans ready. I always plan weeks and sometimes even months ahead, so I always have good excuses ready. When someone asks you to do something together over the weekend, you can simply look at your plan and reply with exact activities. For me, this upcoming weekend is busy. I have to work on application development as well as on some content creation. I also have a plan to spend half day out with my wife. Always have a plan so that when someone asks you to do something on a certain date, you can give them an answer. Stay busy working on your goals. Say no. This is without the doubt the best excuse and answer. And in the meantime, almost nobody is using it. I can't remember the last time somebody said to me just no. Usually excuse come in some kind of a nice form, like I would love to, but I can't because. It's like people are afraid to say no, thinking that they will hurt other people's feelings. Why do you have to come up with a bunch of excuses if you can simply say no? In conclusion, I think that you have to use excuses in your life to move in the direction you want to go to achieve your goals. Be a person that makes good excuses for bad habits and everything else that stands in your way to success. If you want to manage your time better, have more structure in your life and achieve your goals, make sure you check out my time planning application. You can set goals and track progress towards them, create time blocks and build your own daily structure, as well as log your time and measure your performance. Best of all, it's totally free, so press here to check it out right now. I'm working on new videos every day, so be sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.